All right, thanks for watching. And from the producer of Volume of a Ravioli comes another tasty special because today we will calculate the integral over Hoda cheese. And what I want to illustrate today is how to calculate triple integrals. And in particular today, let's find the volume of the following region bounded by the three surfaces, z equals 1 minus y, z equals 0, and y equals x squared. And, as is usual for triple integral problems, let's first draw a nice picture. So let's snap a pic. All right, and this we have to do in a systematic way, so let's just draw the xyz space. xyz. And first of all, this z equals zero doesn't really play a big role. It just means that whatever cake or cheese we find, the base is just the xy plane so we won't go below zero. What's more interesting is, first of all, this z equals 1 minus y, which, remember, is just a plane going through the line 1 minus y. So you start drawing the point 1 minus y and then shift it back and forth. So this is z equals 1 minus y. And then this other thing, y equals x squared, since technically z is missing, it is a cylinder, but from now, just think of it as a parabola. So this is kind of like the parabola y equals x squared, maybe around here, y equals x squared. And then here's what you want to do. So think of this cake as being slanted, and what you want to do, you want to cut a parabolic slice. So kind of what it looks like, here maybe you start at the point 1, and you go all the way down to zero. Maybe a bit more curvy. So you have like this whoosh, and then whoosh. And then it turns out, notice here, this line is straight. And what we end up with is kind of a Hoda or Gauda shape picture, because again, this is going down, this is going down like a parabola, this is straight, and this is just straight as well. So this is kind of the volume that we want to calculate. Now, uh, this is the uh, messy Payam picture, but I can now show you a nice computerized picture that I drew. So here, there you go. On the one hand, as I said, this is the plane z equals 1 minus y, and you cut out a parabolic slice from it, and what you end up getting is this Hoda kind of structure. I love this word, Hoda. Uh -huh. Hello, Pejam, who hot head? Okay. <laughs> All right, and now the next step is to find inequalities. So first, find an inequality for z. So step two. Inequalities. or in German, Ungleichung. And here what we have before we had z, before we had y between big and small, but now we have z between big and small. So z is between small and big. And notice what is the lowest function? So what's the lowest point of z? It's simply zero. So remember the xy plane. And then the bigger function was the plane one minus y, as you can see from here. That's on the one hand, and now what we want to do, we want to find inequalities for x and y, and for this we have to draw this region D, which is the base of your cheese. So now if you want step three, find D. But this one is not too hard to draw, because remember, like D in our base, it was just a parabola, so we just need to draw the parabola, and moreover, what is this line? Well, it's precisely the line y equals 1, because if you set z equals 0 here, you get 0 equals 1 minus y, and you get y equals 1. And why do you set z equals 0? Because it's in the xy plane. That's where your base is. All right, so what do we have? Again, we have the parabola part, y equals x squared, 
and we have this straight line part, y equals 1, and then your region D, it's simply everything in between. So it's this thing. So that is your region D, and then what you do is same spiel, and you find y is between big and small. So y again between small and big. So in this case, the smaller function is the yellow function x squared. The bigger function is the blue function y, 1. So y is between x squared and 1. And finally, just as before, to find the bounds for x, we just need to find the points of intersection. The points of intersection. So we just need to figure out when is x squared equal to 1? Well, that's precisely when x equals minus 1 or 1. So the left endpoint is minus 1, the right endpoint is 1, and x is between minus 1 and 1. So x is between minus 1 and 1. So just to summarize a little summary, we found that z is between 0 and 1 minus y, we found that y is between x squared and 1. And finally, we found that x is between minus 1 and 1. And that's all we need in order to integrate this. And I know I alluded to integration, but what are we trying to integrate? Well, remember we wanted to find the volume of the Hauda cheese. And the volume... The nice fact is it's given by the triple integral of 1. And I know you might be used of saying the volume is double integral of bigger minus smaller. This is much easier to memorize. So definitely, you know, uh, remember this formula. That's more important. All right. And now let's play with our inequalities. So again, we still have the function 1. And now we first have z. So hopefully this won't make you feel too dizzy. So z from 0 to 1 minus y. We have y from x squared to 1. And finally, we have x from minus 1 to 1. And all we need to do is to integrate this. So we get integral from minus 1 to 1, integral from x squared to 1. Now, the integral of 1 from this to this is just 1 minus y minus 0. So 1 minus y dy dx. And then let's uh, anti-differentiate this, so minus 1 to 1. And now I think we get y minus y squared over 2. And that's from y equals x squared to y equals 1. And by the way, notice here we had a triple integral. We turned this into a double integral, which will turn into a single integral. And that's always the case. So strictly speaking, now you can also evaluate 27-dimensional integrals. Just by doing this you know, 27 or 26 more times. So we get 1 minus 1 half minus x squared minus x squared squared, sorry, plus x squared squared over 2 uh, dx. And this simplifies, so that becomes integral from minus 1 to 1 of x to the fourth over 2 minus x squared and then plus 1 half dx. And you could evaluate this, but notice we do have an even function and it's from minus 1 to 1, so it's actually equal to 2 times the integral from 0 to 1 of x to the 4th over 2 minus x squared plus 1 half dx. And again, it simplifies our integration because now it becomes x to the 5th over 5 over 2. So x to the 5th over 10 minus x cubed over 3 plus x over 2 from 0 to 1. And the nice thing is we don't need to evaluate any zero terms. So this becomes 2 times 110 minus 1 third plus 1 half. And the nice thing is you can put this on a common denominator. I think the common denominator is 30. 
So we get, I think, fifth. No, we get uh, three minus, let me see, uh, three minus 10, of course, plus 50. Over 30, which in the end becomes, let's see, so 2 over 30, that's 15. 15 minus 10, that is 5, plus 3, that's 8. So in, in the end, the volume of this Hoda cheese is 8 over 15. <laughs> Met geludigt, I don't know, like with a with lot of happiness for cheese uh, and triple integral. All right, if you like this and want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.